Welcome back everyone to another episode of Days Off Adventures where the concept of this year is 101 things to do in Mackay to help you guys get out there, go and explore this town, there's so much to do we've got so much to cover by this episode, look where we're at you can't, you can't, you gotta pay for spots like this anyway, I'm taking you on a little tour of Freshwater Point we're gonna check out two beaches and this little gem that I've got, a little gem surprise got for you. Make sure you stay tuned till the end, guys, because this one's going to be an awesome video. Get to know Mackay, follow me, subscribe to the channel. Right, let's get into it. So, the track in, even to the. Uh, we're kind of doing the last half of the loop. It's still very tight, and we've actually had a bit of rain, so it's probably going to have a few muddy bug holes. Uh, definitely going to try and avoid them if I can. Uh, it's just mud. Mud's terrible to clean out of your car for a while. So, I, that's why I'll show you some clips of the other week of what the track looks like when you do the full loop. Now, to do the full loop, it takes about an hour. Um, I, again, I, I suggest that if you're not worried about your paint, to not take that um, full loop because, uh, well, <laughs> You're gonna have a few bush pinch drops, mate. And um, me, I love my car, and when I do use it for what it for what it's intended to use for, we just went through a big puddle then. Um, I bought a full drive to use it as a full drive. So as much as I love this girl and I don't want to hurt it, I uh, take it to places where you know some people may not want to take it. So. As you would have seen from that little bit of bog hole that we had here, we've got another one right here. So I think it's the perfect time to give you guys a bit of a tricks and tips on tackling bog holes. First thing you need to do is get out of the car. Get out of the car before you go through it. Have a look. Have a look. Is there any sticks or big logs that are in it or um, anything that's going to damage your car? So what we're going to do now, so there's a bit of a stick here. A bit of a stick. I'm just going to poke it. I'm going to poke the hole. And then that gives me a depth indicator she's probably probably the tread tread width and it's like that all the way through and it's a pretty pretty hard bottom too so and it does get a little bit deeper towards the end but it's a pretty firm base so that's what you want to do that's how you tackle a bog hole so the other things you want to do as well yeah we're pretty sweet there with the depth so the other things you want to do as well is as you go into it you don't want to go fast, you know? Oh, yep. Yeah, loves it. So, you don't want to go fast. You want to go, depending how the entry is, you want to take it a little bit slow. Go in slow. That way you're not churning the bottom. And, uh, sorry, my car's still on. That way you're not churning the bottom and uh, losing any grip that you've got. So, what we like to do is go in a bit slow and then come out the back. If we feel like we're getting stuck, maybe give it a little bit and then go from there. This is gonna, this is probably the last little bit, last bog hole. We'll have to come back through here though um, to get to this other beach. But I wanna show you guys this little beach and this is part of the track that we're on. So I'm gonna set up the camera. We're gonna go through the bog hole and ah. so, what we're going to do now is set up the camera, we're going to put everything that I said into motion, go in slow, power out, try not to churn too much because the more you churn, the harder you're going to get stuck. So let's do it. So how do you reckon I did? We went nice and slow. Like I said, you don't need to give it, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. That was definitely not one of those cases. It was a um, very hard bottom. I knew that it was a hard bottom. I'm getting out that stick and uh, feeling around for the bottom. So that's what you've got to do. So we're about to pull up to this beautiful beach. Turn this glare down. We're about to pull up to this beautiful beach. Show you this beautiful beach. <laughs> wow. Woo! 
pick it up, pick it up. Don't speak a lot, and I, and I, and I can't stop, and I, and I, and I can't stop, and I, and I, and I can't stop, and I, and I, and I can't stop. I don't gotta say too much. My boys know the deal. They think I play. First part of this track, and there's just a beautiful beach here. Probably one of my favourite places is going to the beach and uh, this is definitely one of them. It is a bit rocky but I'm not sleeping on the rocks, I've got a rooftop tent. <laughs> and the waves are just crashing, you can hear it. Absolutely beautiful. Now, if you come with me, you can't really see it from here. But I'll show you in the drone, I'll show, I'm going to flick the drone up and have a little look. But we're going to get to a point way over. So there's this beach. And there's another beach way over, so we're going to have a bit of fun today, we're going to muck around and just show off this area. Now again, guys, I can already see beer cans in here, I'm going to take them with me. And um, what sucks is people don't look after shit. I'm going to say this, I'm going to have a little bit of a whinge at the moment. This is such a beautiful place and yet all I can see is beer cans. And um, I love camping and coming to these sort of places as much as the next bloke, but if you don't can look after it, they're 100% just going to keep closing gates. Now, there's this guy I follow on um, Instagram, he's called Back to the Bush, and uh, he's advocating it, and I want to support him as well. So, we need to look after these areas, especially here in Mackay. We've got such beautiful ecosystems and habitats for animals to come in and, and flourish, and we can all have a turn and we can all have a camp here and share it along with all your mates. But what really needs to happen, guys, is that we need to take care of it. We're not taking care of it at all. Um, it's, if we want, if we want to come to places like this and make Australia great, we need to look after it. That's, that's the bottom line. We need to look after this country. We need to look after your town. You don't have to, don't have to do anything crazy. Just look after it. When you go camping, take your rubbish with you. And, uh, just really look after the place. Then these places are always open and, and then sometimes you have to cross private properties to get places like this and if you're not looking after it, I'll just shut it down and then that's really sorry. Like I'm not trying to swear, I'm not trying to make this a swearing episode, but we really need to look after our coastlines, our rainforests, our bu the bush itself. We just need to look after our area. And I think if we just concentrate on where you live and just do your best to look after that area, then you got no dramas. Then you can come to places like this. Righto, we can't stay here forever. There's enough for joining the view. Let's keep on going to the next beach and then stay to the end because I've got a gnarly, gnarly spot that I want to show you and um, it's probably the best part of this whole trip. So make sure you stay to the end. What's driving me to do this um, 101 things and I, and I really want to push this idea of um, just getting out. Really just getting out and exploring what we have to offer. And there's so much to offer. It's definitely uh, some low hanging trees that I'm a little bit worried about, but I'm um, just trying to avoid them and go slow and steady. Don't want to do any damage. One to my solar panel. Two, oh, there's a, we'll avoid that mud bog. Um, again, you can see through the trees here, like I'm definitely going to get some scratches today. Lantana is not your best friend when you own a car or own a full drive. Um, like I said, I just wanted to show you the track and how... See now it opens up onto these hill, this hill here. Oh. Oh, what a spot. So there's definitely a few little lookout points along here. Here's one we're about to pull up on. Oh, I think people have camped here and I can see why. It's absolutely beautiful. Whew. Oh, wow. Wish I put my sunnies on. Really windy, so I don't know how good the audio is going to be. But, is that a track? <laughs> no, thank you. I think that's a walking track. I wouldn't drive down it. But, that's where we were. Can you focus on that? No, you can't, too dark. Over here is where we were. And now we are on the 
top of that cliff face that I had drone shots of. And then there's another private beach in here that we're gonna have a little look at now. But, Freshwater Point guys, get around it, get at it, let's do it. The wind is blowing, but look at this. Not a single person on the beach. Mate. Mate. Sometimes I just like to, uh, when I'm by myself, just take in that, that moment when you're at these sort of places and just be like, holy. I've got this whole beach to myself. And I'm definitely doing another episode here where we're gonna fish these rocks. People put a couple of swings down here. I'm not 100% sure if you can camp here. It doesn't look like too many campsites are here. Um, might be just a day area, which is probably better off. What an absolutely specky beach. And you can come here on the right time and you've got it all to yourself. Just magical, magical. Righto, I'll flick up a quick drone shot and uh, cause that's, I'll, quick up, I'll flick up a quick drone shot that shows the beach but I do like to use my drone a lot. I really like how it gives a perspective of the place that you're at because sometimes the camera doesn't do the place justice and um, I do use it a lot <laughs> in my videos. I just, I love flying it. I love the perspective that um, you get when you come up you know, 300 meters in the air and you can have a look at the area that you're at. You can see different tracks and, oh man, what a place to be. track now these next parts is just spectacular perfect day for a blue sky I wish it was a bit lower wind for the drone but these things happen um, let's get to the next spot Freshwater Point. This is the little gem that uh, I wanted to save right to the end. Now, I'm going to touch on it briefly. I took, I guess, I didn't do the full loop today track. So, I'm going to show you a couple of shots. So I come here the other week to have a bit of a scope out, but it wasn't the best looking day. Today you've got blue skies, all that sort of business. But, you can do a loop track and you come in at the second entry of the track which is more near the boat ramp side of things so 
that track, I'm going to throw a few shots in of what it's like. I didn't feel like getting my um, car fully scratched today, so that was just something I wanted to do, but I wanted to focus more on, I guess, the coastal side of Freshwater Point. But if you're a full drive enthusiast, I do recommend trying to do the full track. Um, it's got a few hairy sections in it, and uh, it's a good little challenge. So you end up here, Freshwater Point, and then obviously we're going to go back the way we came, and that's going to be the end of this episode guys, Freshwater Point, definitely a great place to come, check out for the day, get a bit adventurous, um, getting out and about, this is a mad view that you can see right now over these islands here, and um, a few birds, just absolutely, absolutely specky, and I'm pretty sure there's a little cave underneath, now I'm not one for scaling um, rock walls today, so I'm going to leave that to you guys, send me a pic. If you end up getting down in there. So again guys, this is 101 things to do in Mackay. If you do find value in it, if you do like it, you want to see more, write in the comments where places you want me to go, things you want me to do, things you want me to cover in this town of Mackay. And make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out. I'm going to enjoy this awesome view and have a bit of smoke and catch us next time. Righto guys, that was the end of the episode. Wow. Mackay is just turning up some spots. Stay tuned next week for the next week's episode, guys. Follow, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Get into it. Get out there. Explore this town. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> back in that, back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Back in there, yeah. Tell them to watch it. Nah, I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that shit.